Let's show you how to add a reviews widget to your website. So today's example, we're going to show you how to connect ElfSite to your website so you can use one of ElfSite's hundreds of widgets that they offer. So to explain, a widget is basically a line of code that we can embed into our website to do various things from Facebook reviews, YouTube gallery, age verification, pricing table, testimonial slider, countdown timer, social feed, and many, many, many other options. So Elfsight is not the only option, but this is the one that we like to use over at Socialiverse. So with this video, we're gonna attach a link to check out Elfsight. So make sure you click that and check it on out and find a widget that you want to add to your website. So. Today, let's show you how to add Google reviews. So for reviews, there's a couple different options and widgets that we can go with, with talking about Elfsite specifically. There's Google reviews, they're all-in-one reviews, which pulls from Google, Facebook, Amazon, Yelp, and 20 other review platforms. So it's kind of like an all-in-one. There's a testimonial slider, a Facebook reviews, Amazon reviews, and bunches of other review widgets. The main two ones you would probably use are just simple Google reviews, or what I also recommend is just the all-in-one reviews. Today, let's just go ahead and show you how to set up the Google reviews. So once we've actually got that, you're going to go ahead and click through and go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open it up in the window that we have started now. So we have a carousel widget selected. We could switch it to where it switches to just badge or a grid format. Or we could do a floating badge in the lower corner. We could also do a simple carousel, dark carousel. A bunch of different options. So this is where you just have to come in here and decide what looks best. For our purposes, we like to a lot of times just do the carousel widget. So we're going to go continue with this. Now this is where you're going to have to enter your business that you want to pull for Google reviews. I'm going to go ahead and copy the link that we found. And that one did not find anything. So let's show you how to actually go about getting that. So Today's example, we're showing you Donna's Sparkling Clean LLC. So this is out of Orlando area. They have 18 Google reviews. So now we need to go ahead about finding this inside of Elfsight. So you have a couple of different options. Now I'm not the owner of this specific profile. We're just adding this review widget to the Donna Sparkling Clean website. So my process is going to be a little bit different, but inside, if you go to your Google business profile and go to maps and then share, you'll be able to get that code and you'll be actually to copy that link directly right here to search it. So once again, that is not finding anything. So now I'm going to have to go to the map section, see if I can find it this way. Once you've opened up and found your business inside of Google maps, go ahead and click share, then click embed a map click copy HTML, head back into Elfsight widget and simply paste that HTML link for that map. You're going to click it and you're going to see it and boom, it's found it. So how you'll actually be able to tell that it pulled it is obviously just check your reviews and cross reference from Google. And if it shows a different business, then it's obviously the wrong business source here. And obviously you just have to go about finding and locating your business inside of Elfsort, Elfsight. So the next thing is you can set up different filters where if you want to filter by number of ratings or what star or show all you can also turn on and off an ai generated filter you could add sorting so it's most recent or random generally i would go with most recent next thing you can also change your layout all in here so if you want to maybe change up and get rid of this title which we like to do at socialverse just go ahead and get rid of that Maybe you want to come in here and change the review style. So you can go and do that by clicking customize and flipping through these. If you want to change the colors on it, you can even specifically do that. If you want to change all of your schema, your language, external links, etc., you can do all of that. So what I recommend is just getting in here and playing around inside of your reviews widget. So once we have it to where we want, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and rename this widget. And we're going to go business reviews. So we're going to click save. So once we have this to where we like it, go click publish. Now what you're going to do is click close. So we're not done here inside of Elfsight. So once we're going to actually do that, we're going to go click install on that widget that we just created. Now we're going to click copy code. So this is where we need to head back to our website. So no matter where you've built your website, the process is kind of going to look similar. So for this, we're building on Socialiverse. So for Socialiverse, specifically speaking for embedding Google reviews, what you can actually do is go down and find our code widget and drag this over into the page. Now what you're going to do is when that opens up, 
copy and paste that. And what I like to do is go ahead and make that full screen and we can essentially save that. So what happens here is once we go and preview this website, we're now going to see that that Google business review is now embedded onto Donna's sparkling clean website. So it might take a second for it here to actually populate and uh, pull up, but there we have it. So for this purposes in the design, we may go ahead and uh, hide this column specifically just since we just embedded our reviews. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and delete this column. Uh, wrong column, sorry, excuse me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and delete the right column for here and save that. So now when I go back to the website that we're building and we've embedded the Google reviews onto it, if I scroll down, you will be able to see that that has uh, populated. So. Once again, that is essentially how you embed a Elf site Google reviews widget onto your website. Now, as you can see, when I hover over it, since I created the widget, this is going to see, you're going to see this, but this is so you could edit your widget right from your website. Once again, it says only the panel owner or can seen by the widget owner. So whoever created the widget will be able to see this. Your customers will not see this uh, bar that pops up here or the share or anything like that. But overall, once again, that is how you actually go about editing, editing and adding a Google Reviews widget by Wealthsite, Elfsite to your Socialverse website. If you have any questions, let us know and make sure you check out the links to Elfsite in the description to this video.